So, it's daily dead cell time. Bleh. Yeah. Oh yeah, I heard you're quitting soon. Yeah, way to fucking like, um, announce that while I'm like, streaming, Jen. <laughs> very, very good. Uh, I'm not gonna disclose that. I'll just say that yes, kinda. It just depends on whether I get this other position. Cause, uh, fuck that job. And, uh, fuck that facility. And fuck everyone there. <clears throat> but, uh, in all honesty, there may be a high, a high chance that, uh, that I'm actually probably am um, going to be quick. I'm not going to say exactly where, and I would prefer you not say. Um, prefer you not say exactly what I'm going to be doing. But uh, yes, uh, I will be quitting my current job soon. If everything goes well. No. Oh. Man, it feels weird after like. Well, I'm being forced to take like a few days off outside of the usual. Like, uh, this power outage just kind of like made me be more productive. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't call this like, I wouldn't call like, well, I mean, cleaning my apartment, yes. Um, cleaning my apartment was definitely a productive thing. Um, but buying a house would be starting the, the, starting the necessary steps to start looking for, like, a house. Like, I'm only looking for, like, starter houses. Like, like a nice starter house. Um, you know, if I wanted to, I could make a fixer-upper. I just, I genuinely, I just don't want to live with, uh... I just don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to live in an apartment anymore. I like. I like living in in an apartment when the terms are in my favor. <laughs> Which, um, as we all know, good luck with that. You know. Um, but there is a high chance that uh, you know, that as in the, within the next year, I I am highly going to say fuck this job or if I'm sorry fuck. Oh, fuck this apartment and uh, leave it. Um, you know, I, I've, I've legitimately have just had. I'm done. I'm fucking done with how these people treat uh, their tenants. I'm done how I've been treated. So good for you. I mean, yeah. I mean, good for me. Absolutely. But Jan, in regards to the, uh, to the job, um. I mean, uh, all I can say is, uh, network within the government, network within our government. If you know how to network within our government, then you'll be able to leave that place too. Um, but I will advise and say I haven't left yet. You know, I haven't left yet. I'm just waiting for the interview. As a matter of fact, I'm saying fuck the training and going to the interview, so... Yeah. Not by my hand that I call it to order. Ooh. Hey, look, it's the funny. It's the funny garden place. I like the funny. I don't get to see enough of it. Bro, I say I don't. I like it, and then I realize. Oh wait. I don't, but I'm happy for you. In what to what regard the. Uh, 
I mean, a lot of people aren't going to understand why, uh, what I'm talking about in regards to my field of work. Uh, well, my field of, not my field of work, but my field of job. Uh, because I know I would never make being a CEO uh, a, a job, a career. Um, it's just not worth my time. But, uh, in all honesty, uh, it's just too much. There's too much crap going on in that in that facility. I, I and I I can't fucking deal with that. It's gonna look horrible on my part, obviously. But it's it's a department transfer. If it, if I do get the position, it's a department transfer. The only reason it's gonna look horrible on my part is because it looks like I'm job hopping, which I'm not. I think after if I, if I do get this if I do take this position or if I do get uh, it offered to me, um. The only way I would actually like physically accept it if it pays more than what I'm currently being paid. Right now. And that's gonna drive uh, a lot of people crazy. But, you know, I... I'm just not happy with uh, that job. Oh, there we go. You know, granted, I'm gonna be real with you. I would never be. Ha I'm not gonna ever be happy with any traditional work. But you know, I don't like fucking going to a traditional work or one that pays like absolute di uh, dirt shit. Um. You know. Probably gonna stay for another year or two. I'm trying to go to a different country. Where are you trying to go? Like what country? I am a Jamaica man. Ah. I want to go to Jamaica, man. Nah. Hey, Jan, go to Brazil. Come to Brazil. You know, get a couple years of experience under your belt. Uh, yeah, but like that experience won't mean shit if you uh, you're going to another country because different regulations, different legislations. You meant county, not country. Oh, oh. You know, it's funny, anytime someone sits there and like, you know, says, oh, but August, uh, but August, uh, if you go to a different, if you don't, if you go to a different, uh, a different county or different, you know, those facilities, they get, they're run by the detainees. And it's like, okay, but like, compared to, the, <laughs> compared to the facility <laughs> that we work in now, nobody's running anything. So what difference does it make? Maybe a different state at most. I would recommend um I would probably recommend uh, Arizona or uh or Texas. And the reason I recommend those two is it's not because they pay well, pay better, but it's because to be honest, they, they, um, their benefits are a lot better. Um, but not only that, it's like you actually get the proper training you need in those states like CODA and like fucking, uh, the Academy and shit like that. Um, which, you know, you kind of, you can, if you're going to be doing like, you know, law enforcement related shit, whether it be like correctional or, you know, police department or even, you know. You're gonna need a certain level of training. Now, granted, do I do I think that you know six months of training is uh 
is uh is is good enough uh, no i don't but then again i could also argue and say any field that provide uh, any field uh provides inadequate training but uh you know with the exception of the military but then again at that point with the military it's like it's like it's how you utilize that training it's not so much you being taught But yeah, I would recommend uh, at least Arizona or Texas. I mean, if you really want to get frivolous and get frisky, go to go to the East Coast. They're always taking positions over there, and their their minimum their minimum annual is fucking amazing. It's like seventy thousand, specifically Jersey. But uh, I would argue and say you don't want to live in Jersey. Nobody wants to live in Jersey. Jersey is like the fucking, is like New York's sweaty fucking stinky asshole. Or you know what, to give a better representation of Jersey and listen, I can say it, I'm from Jersey as well. I lived in Jersey for a good point, a good period amount of time and just like how I lived in New York. Um. But uh, I will I will emphasize and say that uh, you know you could you could argue and say Jersey is just the ball sack for Pennsylvania and or for Philadelphia and New York. It really is. It really is just the fucking ball sack. Because one ball, one entire testicle, I, I, South Jersey, is, is dedicated to uh, Philadelphia, and the other testicle is dedicated to North Jersey. Is dedicated to fucking New York. As much as I love the East Coast, I'm not gonna go there. Have you ever? I haven't even been there. You're thinking Texas, though. I think Texas is a good start. Yeah. Unless it's on vacation or visiting someone. I would just sit there and uh I would sit there and agree with that. Like personally for me because I live there, I can like easily go back and be like, "All right, ah, cool, I'm ready." You know, I could fit right back in easy. It is not that hard. But um the issue though is, is that for people who haven't lived there, right? A lot of people I know who used to live there, and then like if you take, oh, okay. A lot of people that I used to know who live out of state, who went to New York and tried to live there, they failed ultimately only because uh, they couldn't make either they couldn't make the ends meet or they didn't like the culture. And I will say, it is a certain type of culture. It really is. It's not what it's not the stereotypes that uh, you know Hollywood makes it out to be. It's a it's a it's a certain type of culture. But um, it, mostly it's just not making enough to make me ends meet. And it's true. Like you had like when I was living there, I had to work four fucking jobs. Did the raid work? Did you give me a raid? Fresh. I don't think the raid did work. No, it didn't work, man. But if you're trying to raid, thank you so much, the blank card. Raids are better than hell. Oh yeah, absolutely, man. At least with raids, there's at least a little bit of uh, engagement. But yeah, thank you for trying to at least, I mean, hell, appreciate ya. Oh. 
it's amazing how how many years I've been playing this fucking game, and I, I I've somehow even though I'm getting better at it, I I never have beaten the entire like boss thing. What I mean is like the king. Ah. <laughs> uh... Oh, there we go. There it is. Well, thank you, Blank Card, with the party of four. Thank you for the raid, man. Hi, everyone. Yes. I forgot. I forgot the rock. The rock. The rock. You know, I forgot that that was the whole clip. <laughs> I forgot. Well, hi everyone. We uh, we're, <laughs> we're um, talking about jobs and shit. While 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 d warming rat warming up the stream a bit. Also, a machete and pistol. Yes, yes. Give me give me my machete and uh, pis pistol. I need. I really did forget. I I completely forgot about the the rock, being being the uh being the sound bite for that. Oh yeah. That was a really good idea. Whoever who I can't remember who said that to make that as the as the raid sound bite, but that was a fucking good idea. Good good shit. <laughs> that was a really good idea. Cause like it's so rare for me to hear raids anyway. So it's like, of course I was going to forget it. Gun. Oh, fuck yeah! Yep, there we go. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, for me personally, I'm just trying to finish school at this point. But if I can make like, a little extra more money, I will definitely do it. You know? And as much as I really do, like... I like working with... Okay, so... It's not that I hate the job so much as I hate working with the other officers. It's I... Um, it's more so, I like working with the detainees. I do. I just fucking hate dealing with my other, the other officers. It's that simple. If you could take the equation of the other officers being just a pain in my ass out, it, it'd be a great job. I'd love doing it. Still on daily dead cells. Uh, cool. Didn't miss anything interesting. No, no, of course not, Dash. Of course. Except you forgot you missed the the entire story about how uh, my my the maintenance team fucked up my power to where it was recovered, but in order for it to be technically recovered, the dial on my heater had to be turned all the way up. Effectively, my entire power grid was controlled by my heater. But, it still wasn't enough power, and you might be wondering why. Well, it's because there was a breaker switch that was burnt. So even though they fixed, the, they fixed one breaker, and they rewired it to the heater, there was another breaker that was burnt. So like I said, nothing interesting, Ed Boy. Ed the Boy! And the boy. Okay, since we have people coming in chat, I'm gonna ask this question again. So with, with okay, so with Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, right? I have an, I have Lazarus and Shy Wetter. Okay. Life has many doors, and the boy. <clears throat> that is right, the end boy. Oh, yes, yeah, said the boy. 
Femboy Rolf. <laughs> you imagine Femboy Rolf? Oh yes, oh yes, Onichan, boy, Ed boy. Come and bussy, Ed boy. <laughs> Hello, Ed boy. Do you want to come and bussy? Oh no. No. <laughs> Hey. Anyway. Okay, so what was I going at? Where was I going? Okay, so with Shy Rider and Lazarus being the pro tags of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, with uh Legends coming up, right? Did I just spin the fucking wheel and make an ancestor out of whoever the fuck the wheel picks? Or should I uh or should I should I do an ancestor for Shy Wetter or Lazarus? But if I do the if I do the latter choice, right? Should I? I'm gonna let you guys decide which one. Whereas the other choice is the wheel it gets to decide, and with the wheel, it could be anything. See, if if Snakey was here, she'd dictate it, and she'd be like, "You need to make Shy Wetter's like ancestor," despite there being like. I, lo I love, I love, I love when you get to see it just all go to hell. Bro, this is like the most satisfying thing. Here. I had to turn I had to turn my volume down because I'm sitting in my living room with my family and you started saying bussy. Bussy! Actually, you know what? I got a better I got a better thing for you. Turn. Yeah, she she she's a she's very old. She has a she has a fucking Uh yeah. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. Because that's actually way better. You know, I got a, I got a better clip for you. I was actually gonna open the stream up with this, but oh, I'm gonna brown. What? I'm shitting. <laughs> I was going to open the stream with that. <sighs> New rule. Whenever you talk about taking a shit, it's got to be cold brown. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's open. Oh. <laughs> no times to... No. Uh, poisons enemies that wound you. Ah, uh, no. Bro, you know how pointless that is? Oh, okay. Well, never mind. I was going to say that was kind of stupid. Well, you're stupid. There we go. My aunt is literally next next to me and she's looking at me weird. I'm gonna brown. I'm shitting. The best part is, is I'll never meet your family. Ever. 
And I'm okay with embarrassing myself like that. Because I know deep down inside, I'm just never going to meet them, and that's okay. Oh, the fractured shines. Oh, 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 I remember this. Kinda, sorta, sorta. Hey Jan, all I'm gonna say, dude, is now you gotta question. Now you gotta a answer the question that everyone in chat does when they watch my streams <laughs> in front of their family. So, 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 what is this, and and why? What? Where did we go wrong with you? Where did we fail here? Where where did we fail? Well you see. Oh. Never I plead the fifth. Wow, that that was a really lucky fall. Okay, good. It was really lucky. I no, fuck you. So by the way, that hat that I bought when I killed Undyne showed up, chat. For those who are wondering, um, it's in my living room. And it's it's there it's there for a specific reason. So when I wake up in the morning and I drink my coffee, right? I get to remind myself I killed Undyne for that hat. And I'm damn proud of it. Watch, someone's gonna be like, let's bring up another meme that requires them to buy a product. That way we can just say he killed someone just for the fuck of it. So you really want you want to hear some like super degen shit that I did today. So um my my stepdad right like a week ago gave me a printer, right? And so I was like, "Okay, awesome. I now have a printer. I can like um I can finally like, I don't know. I uh, like start printing shit out. So I set up the thing. So I set up this printer, right? Because of course, of course, you know. I, I I was like, all right, well, I'm gonna set up this printer then. Um. And sure enough, I was like, okay, well, it's set up now. What do I use to uh? What do I use to like test it with? Yeah, I'm not proud of myself. But, um, I typed in Big <laughs> Titi and I just picked a random image. And <laughs> I'm testing my printer by typing Big Titi, grabbing a random image and printing. Because I was like, well, fuck it. I really don't have an idea as to what I want to use to test it. I could use someone's random art that they made for me, but like. No, let's just take it the extra fucking step, shall we? 
<laughs> hey, guess what? It works. <laughs> oh my god, please. Nope. Oh, this is the farthest I've gotten to this so far. Wait, hold on. Where's this going? Oh, the Undying Shores. But I can't go there. Condemned to protect our dead. The wardens will recognize their own. Oh, it's asking us to put on the cultist outfit. Okay. It's like, wait a minute. Yeah, so it wants us to put on the the the, the cultist outfit. Ah, oh, this is the long. This is one of the. Hold on. This is the one of the longest. Uh, um. Runs I've done so far. Like we're doing really good. So, like I'm doing really good. Do you have a minute to talk about our lord and save? Damn, I wish Emma was here. God damn it. Snakey, if you're in chat, can we talk about our lord and save? <laughs> I am not talking about that. No, I, I will I will play the brown infinite amount of times before I fuck. Before I talk about Pamper Chew again on Fuck that. Church of Pamper Chew, man. Why is that even a thing? Like, <sighs> it makes me want to gag. Oh, what's this? Oh. Mmm. Yeah, fuck it. We'll go in here. Oh no, I, I made a mistake. Oh no. Oh fuck, I'm gonna die. If I'm not careful and I don't take my time, I'm gonna die. <sighs> oh fuck. Okay, so for context, this level... Um... This is dark. Dark is the path you have chosen. Light, the light of the guardians will guide you. But for how long? Behind you, that big light is just there. Hmm. So, for context chat, basically, if I'm not near a light source, I am basically fucked. And, and these guys fucking suck too. I made a, I made a, I made an, oh, I, I went to that area knowing that, like, I forgot what the name of that area was. Oh, oh, that hurt. That hurt. All right. Let my decayed corpse start crawling in there. And then. That will be our warm up for now.
round. What? I'm shitting!